Okay, so we are going to create a basic logo or car logo in Photoshop so the first thing that we're going to do is just to click on file menu click on new then we can choose whichever dimension we are going to choose for as long as it is in high resolution well when we say high resolution it should be higher than 100 pixels per inch so the width that I have right now is 1000 pixels and the height is 1000 pixels so click on create so this is how it's going to look like now since we are going to be very much time constrained in terms of logo making so we don't need to be very specific on the complexity of the logo that we are going to create but instead uh, we are just going to stick with the basics and at the same time be sure that the logo that you are going to create should be um, in line or must be in relation to the company name as well as the service that they are trying to provide okay so we are going to use this tool right here we have the rounded rectangle tool so I can choose uh, the fill from the properties bar I'm going to change change the fill to something like a black one and the stroke I'm going to remove the stroke feature so I'm just going to click on this icon right here there so the radius I'm going to change the radius to something like 30 hit my enter key on my keyboard that's it now this time um, I'm just going to draw it in here automatically it will create a new uh, what they call this layer next is I'm going to resize this one into something like a thinner rectangle something like that so this will be the first rectangle it may look very basic I'm just going to click on commit uh, click on the zoom tool I'm, I'm just going to zoom this one in there you go next is click the rounded rectangle again or you can just press letter U on your keyboard for the shortcut key of this one there so this will represent the wheels okay so it's pretty much rounded so I'm just going to change it f uh, from here or you can change it through here as well so it's 28 pixels I'm just going to transform that one into 10 pixels for the radius there I can resize this one a little bit there that's it now if I want to duplicate this one all I need to do is just to right click on its layer oh somewhere in here then click on duplicate layer or to, uh, just for the to make it faster I'm just going to hold my alt key on my keyboard then you might be able to notice that the icon has changed or the cursor has changed I'm just going to drag it over here on the other side there you go now next is once you think both of them are in equal um, what they call this placement or alignment if you have noticed that this one or these objects are not in equal placement you can just highlight both of them then over here on the properties panel you can choose align to bottom there you go that's it so we're ready of the wheels then the next one is we are going to create a representation of the windshield so still I'm going to use the rounded rectangle there you go draw it somewhere in here I want to create some sort of a glass type representation so I'm just going to remove the fill I'm just going to click on this one there and provide a stroke black same thing I'm just going to make this stroke a little bit thicker so click on the drop down arrow drag it inwards or outwards just slide it so whichever would suit your preference it's okay there you go next is 
Um, let's try to create some sort of a representation for the windshield. So click on the rounded rectangle again. Uh, this time I'm going to draw something like that. Uh, change. Oh, the fill is already there. So I'm just going to place it somewhere in here. Then create a duplicate of it by uh, pressing my Alt key on my keyboard. Then click and drag. Then you can release your left click. Then release your Alt key. Next is we are going to use the rectangle tool. So click on the rectangle tool. Just draw something like this. This will serve as a some sort of connector. Okay, from the uh, side mirror to the body of the car. So go back to the move tool. I can transform this one or rotate this one a little bit by pointing my, my mouse cursor over here then rotate it like that click this checkbox to commit then drag it over here there you go now if i want to duplicate this one again i'm going to hold my alt key on my keyboard drag it over here now if you need to uh, what they call this one flip the image you can click on the edit uh, menu then click on transform choose flip horizontal there you go next up is of course the lights um, disregard on the enhance um, what they call this the curvature of your car because later on we're going to enhance that one okay next is we are going to use the pen tool so this is the pen tool so before clicking anywhere on your canvas you need to change the fill of your pen tool so to something like white there you go oops sorry there so click first then this will serve as the beginning point of your pen tool now when uh, the beginning point is turned as a node in here so click on fill <coughs> click on uh, color white click over here then I'm just going to click drag to create some sort of a curving effect then release my left click then click where the node has started there you go then go back to move tool i'm going to resize this one a little bit hold my shift key so that i can resize it in equal dimensions there then i'm going to click on edit oh no sorry i'm just going to duplicate this one first click or hold alt click and drag place it over here then edit transform horizontal next is again I'm going to use the pen tool I'm just going to create something like a little bit of enhancement over here just like that then on the other side to duplicate this one hold my alt key and my keyboard if you can't uh, hold it you can just zoom it in a little bit then hold my alt key if it works there you go drag it somewhere over here you've noticed that there is some sort of a guide it's because I am still holding my alt key automatically Photoshop is going to provide you with some sort of a guiding line then click on edit transform flip horizontal there you go I think that's it you don't need to be very particular with the complexity or of course perfection for this one next is I'm going to click on the rectangle tool over here I just have to draw it something like that then change the fill to something like white there you go now if you want to change uh, the or skew this shape of the rectangle you can hold your control key or CTRL key on your keyboard then you can just drag this one outwards a little bit and over here same thing outwards a little bit to have some sort of enhancement then click on commit to commit the transformation then I'm just going to trim this area right here so I'm going to use this tool the rectangular marquee tool be sure that you are on the right layer so click on rectangular marquee tool click over here so this will serve as an area for the plate number something like that next is I'm going to click on select 
then inverse selection so when why did I choose inverse selection it's because I'm going to mask this one okay so click on mask there you go so I've already trimmed a certain area of the rectangle so we already have created a car however it's not that good but the main purpose is the concept you got the concept now next if you want to provide some sort of enhancements uh, I'm just going to click on the direct selection tool click over here oops where was that oh, let me click on the layer first then go to direct selection tool so that would be easier I'm going to right click on this area and click on add anchor point so that I can provide some sort of curving effect now if there is some sort of an irregularity in this area you can right click on that one then delete anchor point same thing on the other side to make it equal okay so there then let me provide additional enhancement over here again click the red layer go back to direct selection tool right click add anchor point I'm just going to move this one a little bit closer in here yes over here anchor point drag a little bit inwards there you go now we have just created a simple logo or company logo of a car service company there you go I'm just going to provide some sort of it's like an outer camber there it's an automotive technical term there you go okay so that's it we have created a simple flat logo in Photoshop now you can customize any logo that you want for as long as it is in relation to whatever company you are trying to create it for okay so that's it for now